In this video, we'll be taking a look at six WNBA games happening on September 19, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so 12 picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these six WNBA NBA games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Chicago Sky vs. Connecticut Sun The Chicago Sky are still battling for the final spot in the WNBA postseason as they prepare to visit the Connecticut Sun on Thursday in the last game of the regular season. Chicago currently sits in 10th place in the standings, trailing both the Atlanta Dream and the Washington Mystics by one game after suffering a tough 86-70 loss to Atlanta on Tuesday night. Since rookie Angel Reese sustained a season-ending injury, Chicago has dropped four of their last five games. For Chicago to qualify for the playoffs, they need both Atlanta and Washington to lose their final regular season matchups. Meanwhile, the Connecticut Sun were narrowly defeated by the Minnesota Lynx, 78-76, on Tuesday night. Although the Sun are locked in at third place, a loss to Chicago combined with a Las Vegas victory could drop them to fourth in the standings. In the three previous matchups between these teams this season, the Sun have never won by more than eight points. Despite Chicago's roster being hit hard by injuries, expect to see some of their players listed as questionable take the Court, given that a win is essential for keeping their playoff hopes alive. Connecticut, on the other hand, doesn't have as much at stake as their position in the standings is already secured. While the Sun will be the heavy favorites, given their superior record and healthier roster, the Sky, though riddled with injuries, still have plenty to play for with that last playoff spot on the line. Although Connecticut is fighting for third place, this is a high point spread for a team that's still competing for postseason survival. It's also worth noting that the Sun are just 3-5 against the spread in their last eight games as a double-digit favorite. The spread for this game seems overly ambitious, and it's hard to believe the Connecticut Sun will cover it. With Chicago fighting for their playoff lives, the Chicago Sky to cover the spread as underdogs is our full-game side pick. Connecticut, on the other hand, will aim to lock down the third seed and will likely rely on their stifling defense against a severely depleted Chicago squad. This defensive effort will likely result in a lower scoring game. The total has gone under in five of Connecticut's last seven games, and the under has also hit in four of the last six road games for Chicago. Without their second and third leading scorers, and with the potential absence of leading scorer Chenity Carter, Chicago's offense will struggle. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Atlanta Dream vs. New York Liberty The Atlanta Dream are preparing to take on the New York Liberty in what could very well be a preview of their first-round matchup in the WNBA playoffs. The Dream are riding a two-game winning streak, fresh off a commanding 86-70 home victory against the Chicago Sky on Tuesday. Meanwhile, the Liberty are coming off an 87-71 road win over the Washington Mystics, also on Tuesday. New York has already secured wins in the first three regular season games against Atlanta, and they will be looking to complete the season sweep in this game. This game promises to be exciting, especially with the Dream fighting for their playoff lives. As of now, the Liberty have not announced any roster updates or player movements for Thursday's game, which adds an element of uncertainty. New York has already clinched the top seat, so how they manage their starters is a significant point of interest. All things considered, the Liberty have a substantial advantage over Atlanta, having dominated the three prior meetings with superior offense, long-range shooting, and overall depth. With a dream, this game is crucial to securing a playoff spot, otherwise, they'll be forced to monitor the outcomes of the Washington Mystics and Chicago Sky games. Both of those teams enter their respective matchups as underdogs, so that could influence Atlanta's approach on Thursday. Notably, all three games are scheduled for 7 p.m., with Chicago playing on the road against Connecticut and Washington hosting Indiana. While the Liberty have no real incentive to overwork their starters, the Dream will likely be going all out to ensure they make the playoffs. The betting line for this 
this game is intriguing when you consider the contrasting stakes. Atlanta is battling for the final playoff spot, while New York is comfortably locked in as the top seed. Although the Liberty have not indicated any plans to rest key players at the time of this analysis, it would not be surprising to see them sit some starters, given they have nothing to play for. It's wise to check the injury report before making any bets, but it's reasonable to expect New York may not be giving a full effort in this game. For the Atlanta Dream, the stakes could not be higher. They must win this game to secure the final playoff spot, while the New York Liberty have already clinched their postseason berth. If the Dream manage to pull off the victory and clinch the eighth seed, this matchup will turn into the first round playoff series. As for the Liberty, it remains to be seen which players, if any, will be listed as healthy scratches. It wouldn't be shocking to see some late lineup changes, potentially shifting the odds closer to an even pick. Therefore, the Atlanta Dream to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. In their three previous matchups this season, both teams have performed well offensively, but they have averaged just 155 total points per game between them. Recently, neither team has been scoring enough to reach the projected total. The Dream have averaged only 70 points over their last three games, while the Liberty have been more productive, averaging 89 and a half points over their last four contests. New York leads the WNBA in scoring and ranks in the top five in both field goal and three-point shooting percentage. However, in this particular game, there's reason to believe the Liberty will play more of their bench players, which could impact their scoring output. The Dream, on the other hand, are not a high-scoring team. In fact, they rank last in the league in both scoring and field goal percentage. For Atlanta to have a chance at winning, they will need to control the pace of the game and make scoring difficult. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Indiana Fever vs. Washington Mystics The Indiana Fever are set to face off against the Washington Mystics on Thursday evening in an Eastern Conference showdown at the Capital One Arena. The Fever are coming off a narrow 110-109 victory at home against the Dallas Wings on Sunday, a game that showcased their ability to perform in high-pressure situations. Meanwhile, the Mystics are currently struggling, as they are on a two-game losing streak following an 87-71 home defeat to the New York Liberty on Tuesday. This upcoming game marks the the fourth and final regular season matchup between these two teams, with the Fever having secured two wins in their previous meetings. While some might be surprised that the Washington Mystics are favored in this contest, betting on them is actually the more strategic move. The Indiana Fever have already secured their spot as the sixth seed in the playoffs, making this game largely inconsequential for them. On the other hand, the Mystics still have a lot at stake, as they are vying for the eighth and final spot in the WNBA playoffs. In order to keep their playoff hopes alive, the Mystics not only need a win but also need the Atlanta Dream to lose their upcoming game. The Dream's matchup doesn't look promising, adding extra motivation for Washington. Defending the three-point line will be key, and this is an area where the two teams show stark differences. Indiana ranks 10th in the league, allowing opponents to shoot 36.2% from beyond the arc, while Washington is much stronger in this aspect, holding teams to just 33% from three, which ranks them fifth in the WNBA. Although no official announcements have been made, the betting line suggests that the Indiana Fever may rest some of their key players since their playoff seating is already secured. With nothing on the line for the Fever, they could opt to play it safe. In contrast, the Washington Mystics are still very much in the hunt for the eighth seed, competing against both the Chicago Sky and the Atlanta Dream for that final playoff spot. The Mystics should also have the support of their home crowd, which could give them an additional boost. It's worth noting that the Mystics have covered the spread in seven of their last ten games, further indicating that they are a team worth backing. Therefore, the Washington Mystics to win and cover the spread as the favorites is our full game side pick. When it comes to the total points for this game, both the Indiana Fever and the Washington Mystics have been putting up solid offensive performances in their previous matchups. Every game between these two teams this season has seen both sides score at least 80 points, which means the over has been the winning play in each of their contests so far. Looking at recent trends leading into this season finale, both defenses have been allowing more points than the total suggests. The Fever have been giving up an average of 94 points per game over their last five contests, while the Mystics have allowed 68 points per game in their last three outings. With these numbers in mind, over the projected total is our full game total pick.
Los Angeles Sparks vs. Minnesota Lynx The Los Angeles Sparks will hit the road to take on the Minnesota Lynx in an exciting Western Conference clash at the Target Center this Thursday night. Currently, the Sparks find themselves in sixth place in the West, while the Lynx dominate the top spot in the conference standings. This matchup will be the fourth and final meeting between these two teams during the regular season, with Minnesota aiming to complete a series sweep and cap off their dominant campaign. The Sparks, who hold the worst record in the entire WNBA, are not expected to pose much of a challenge to one of the league's best teams. One of the key factors contributing to the disparity between these two teams is their offensive production. Los Angeles is averaging just 75 and a half points over their last four games, while Minnesota has been significantly more efficient, putting up an average of 85 points in their last five games. When you compare the net ratings of these teams, the gap becomes even more evident. Los Angeles ranks dead last in the WNBA with a dismal minus 9.4 net rating, while Minnesota boasts the second best net rating in the league at 8.7. A major factor driving this difference is the team's defensive abilities, particularly in guarding the three-point line. The Sparks are 11th in the league in three-point defense, allowing opponents to shoot 36.2% from beyond the arc, whereas the Lynx lead the league with a stellar 30% defensive three-point percentage. These two teams have experienced very different seasons. The Sparks have been plagued by injuries and are limping into the season finale, firmly locked into the top spot in the 2025 WNBA draft. In contrast, the Lynx have been on a tier, winning seven consecutive games and securing the second seed in the playoffs. Despite this being a seemingly meaningless game for Minnesota in terms of playoff implications, the Sparks' dismal 2-17 road record and the Lynx's dominant 16-3 home record, along with the fact that Minnesota has won all three previous meetings, suggest that the outcome is unlikely to change. Given the current state of both teams, it's hard to see Los Angeles pulling off an upset. Although Minnesota is already locked into the second seed and Kayla McBride has been ruled out, that doesn't diminish their chances. The Sparks have been the worst team in the league over the past two months and are the most injury-riddled team in the WNBA. It's difficult to justify backing the Sparks regardless of the matchup. While the Lynx will be resting some of their starters and playing a few backups, they should still have no problem handling a Sparks team that is eager for the offseason. As a result, the Minnesota Lynx to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full-game side pick. The Sparks have seen the under hit in 20 of their 39 games this season, giving them a 20-19 mark in relation to the total. When playing on the road, they have posted an 11-8 record to the under in their 19 away games. However, they've gone over the total in each of their last three road games. On the other hand, Minnesota has seen the under hit in 22 of their 40 games, posting a 22-16-2 mark in relation to the total. At home, the Lynx have been even more consistent with the under, going 13-5-1 in their 19 home games. Additionally, seven of Minnesota's last eight home games have gone under the total, and in the last ten meetings between these teams, the under has a 7-2-1 record. This game doesn't carry much significance for either team, so it's unlikely that we'll see them exert maximum effort on offense. The Sparks and Lynx are very familiar with each other, as this is their fourth matchup of the season. Across their three previous meetings, they've averaged 151.3 total points per game. Both teams play at a slower, more methodical pace. Los Angeles ranks fifth in the W. WNBA with a 96.98 pace, while Minnesota is 10th with a 94.96 pace. Defensively, both teams have shown strong performances over the course of the season. The Lynx rank second in the league with a 94.9 defensive rating, while the Sparks sit 10th with a 106.5 defensive rating. Given Minnesota's stout defense and Los Angeles' struggling offense, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Dallas Wings vs. Las Vegas Aces The Dallas Wings are set to face off against the Las Vegas Aces at the Michelob Ultra Arena on Thursday night in a Western Conference matchup. The Wings enter the game sitting in 5th place in the West with a 9-30 record, while the Aces boast a much stronger 26-13 record, placing them 2nd in the conference. This marks the 4th and final meeting between the two teams this season, as well as the last game of the regular season. The Aces currently hold a 2-1 lead in the season series and will be looking to close out strong. Defensively, the two teams are on very different paths. The Wings have struggled mightily in recent games, allowing an average of 98 points over their last 5 contests. 
assists. In contrast, the Aces have been significantly better on defense, giving up just 74 points in their previous four outings. When comparing the overall performance of both teams, the disparity becomes even clearer. Dallas ranks 11th in the WNBA with a minus 9.3 net rating, while Las Vegas ranks 4th in the league with a positive 6.2 net rating. The Aces seem poised to take advantage of these weaknesses as they gear up for the playoffs. Even if the Connecticut Sun manage to defeat the Chicago Sky, the Aces are expected to handle the struggling wings and head into the postseason with momentum. Additionally, the Aces will likely be motivated to avenge their surprise 93-90 loss to the Wings in Dallas earlier this August. Given the Wings' defensive woes, which rank among the league's worst, Dallas could easily surrender over 100 points again. The Wings are at the bottom of the league in both opponent two-point shooting percentage and opponent three-point shooting percentage, making it hard to see them holding up against the Aces' potent offense. Therefore, the Las Vegas Aces to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The total for this game has been set very high, but there's reason to believe these two teams could easily surpass it. In their last meeting in August, Dallas narrowly edged out Las Vegas 93-90, while in July, the Aces dismantled the Wings 104-85 on their home court. Dallas has allowed 90 or more points in seven of their last eight games, and they play at the fastest pace in the WNBA, averaging 80 possessions per 40 minutes. The Aces are right behind them, averaging 79.7 possessions per 40 minutes. Given these factors, it's hard to overthink the total in this matchup. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. Seattle Storm vs. Phoenix Mercury The Seattle Storm will face off against the Phoenix Mercury at the Footprint Center on Thursday night in a Western Conference matchup, marking the regular season finale. The Storm currently hold third place in the West with an impressive 24-15 record, while the Mercury sit in fourth with a 19-20 record. Seattle has taken two of the three games in their season series against Phoenix, including a dominant 9-66 home victory on September 7. Both teams have already secured their playoff positions, so the outcome of this game will not affect their postseason paths. To add to that, the top scorer from each team is expected to miss this game. Jewel Lloyd, Seattle's leading scorer, has been sidelined for the past few games, and Kali Copper is still struggling with a lingering back injury for Phoenix. Given the circumstances, neither team is likely to risk further injury to their star players in a meaningless regular season game. The key storyline here is Diana Taurasi, who is likely playing in her final regular season season game. The home crowd will rally behind her, and her teammates will look to send her off with a victory. Despite being in the twilight of her career, Taurasi still averages over 15 points per game and remains a deep shooting threat. With Lloyd and Copper both absent, their contributions cancel each other out, leaving Taurasi and Brittany Griner to carry the Mercury in what promises to be an emotional game for the legendary guard. While the primary names to watch are already listed, it's important to check the injury report closer to game time to ensure no other last-minute changes affect the lineup. Neither team has much at stake since their playoff spots are locked in, but the Mercury may have extra motivation, having won back-to-back -back games and looking to build momentum after a rough stretch. On the other hand, the Storm have struggled on the road recently. Given the circumstances, it's wise to monitor the injury report before making any decisions. The Phoenix Mercury to cover the spread as underdogs is our full-game side pick. Offensively, both teams have been performing well in recent games. The Storm have averaged 88 points over their last four games, while the Mercury have put up 76 points in their previous three outings. However, their defense has been lackluster of late, with Seattle allowing 83 points in their last three games and Phoenix giving up 89 points in their last four. Due to the offensive production and defensive struggles, over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.